Here is how to create a YouTube thumbnail with CapCut. Launch CapCut on your PC, open a new project, and then rename it to rename it to thumbnail. Thumbnail. And then import the files that you are going to use. So now let me import my files. I have my files here. Okay, I've imported the files that I want to use. Now I will drag the image from here to the timeline and then go to cutout, go to auto auto cutout, and then I have to drag this cap cut logo here, drag it on top here. As you can see, I have the logo here. So now I want to add my background. I'll go to library. Tap, tap on the arrow here and then go to background and then scroll down as you can see there are a lot of backgrounds here so let me choose this one I'll drag it on top of here and then I have to expand it and make it to be not too much be the same size with what I'm working on so I have to drag this text on top of it or above it drag this one above it so as you can see these ones are on top of it now so I want to blur the background I'll go to effects video effects lens and then I'll go down and select blur I'll drag the blur on top of the background as you can see the background here now is blur the background is blur so now I want to reduce this logo and then I'll add text Okay, the logo is okay now. So here I can tap on these special effects, special effects here to reduce or increase the blur. As you can see. So well, let me keep it somewhere at 65. 65 is okay for me. So now let me add the text. I'll click on text and then drag the default text in the timeline. So let me position it to where I want it to be. Yeah. Okay, as you can see. And one thing you should pay attention is my my timeline or play button is somewhere here. So you should just leave it at the center here. You can choose it as I'm moving it. As you can see, the background is also changing. So we use this at the end to make the background match what we want. So here is okay for me here at the center. Then I will choose the fonts that I want to use here. I will choose. Let me choose uh, resolve. Okay, I'm going to use the resolve here. So as you can see, this text here. Let me change it to how to create. How to create. Okay, let me reduce it. Then drag it on top. And then I want to duplicate it now. Pay attention. I'll press and hold the ALT key on my keyboard and then come back here and click on this drag it up and my text has been duplicated so I'll come here now and drag it out as you can see I've duplicated it so I want another more text let me repeat hold down the ALT button on your keyboard and then click on the text drag it up again or down anyway drag it depending on where you want to keep it then leave it here as you can see, I've created another one. The text and entry. So now I want to change this one to YouTube. YouTube. And then change this one to width. Make, you know, make it fast width. Then I will need another one. I need to duplicate another one. So let me duplicate this one. I will repeat the same process. Okay, then click on this, drag it out. I think that did not work. Let me repeat the process. As you can see here, it's now two. So here I'll change this to thumbnail. Thumb 
nele. Ok. Vamos to drag it and expand it. As you can see here, I've expanded it. Mm -hmm. I have to expand the YouTube too. To expand the YouTube too. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Let me still take this one up a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I have to drag this picture here to be on top of top of the text, top of the thumbnail and the, this. So, but I want the width and the cap cuts to be on top. I drag them on top. Where is the width? Width. Okay, here is the width. As you can see. So now there's one more thing left. I want to add. I want to add shadow to the text here so I'll click on each particular text let me start with the width I'll click on the width and then go down to here where's my mouse scrolling so fast I will choose shadow as you can see a shadow there now so for the thumbnail I'll do the same here's my shadow let's turn it on and the black shadow will be added here shadow as you can see, then how to create and turn on my shadow too. That is it, and I think I'm good to go. If there's another amendment you want to do, okay. This guy here, let me add a let me add outline here to the guy. Okay, as you can see, here's a way to add a white outline depending on the one you want. So let me use this one and then I'll reduce the size. Reduce the size. So here, let me see 10, 10 is okay, then let me reduce the opacity too, let me reduce the opacity, okay, that is it, so now, that's the end of it, but pay attention to this part now, so now, to export it and use it as a YouTube thumbnail, what you have to do is to click on this name icon here, and then export still frame, here yeah, I have to select select 10 ATP don't select for 40p 70p 2k or 4k just select 1080 if you select anything here 2k or 4k the size will be too much and you will not be able to upload it on YouTube so don't even try that just use the 10 ATP and then set it to JPG and then export choose your location before you export so I already know my location, all I have to do now is to export. So that is it. I exported it. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.